Okay. Okay, let's start uh, study the linear system. Um, uh, oh, how to actually uh, how to solve a linear system? Actually, the linear algebra is uh, developed by solving linear system. So first we started how to solve a linear system. And the main method to solve a linear system we called Gauss elimination. We already know this method from the high school. Uh, Let's uh, see uh, an example of how to use Gauss, Gauss elimination. The example is uh, x plus y plus 2z equals 9. 2x plus 4y minus 3z is 1. And uh, 3x plus 6y minus 5z equals 0. Recall this is the first equation, the second equation, the third equation. And how to solve, solve lin this linear system? We use the Gaussian elimination. First, if we uh, Multiply the first equation by negative 2 and add to the second equation. Then the second equation, and the, and the, then we get rid of the x in the second equation. That is, the second equation plus the first equation times negative 2. And the third equation plus the first equation times negative 3. Then we get the first equation does not change and the, the x uh, then there is no x in the second equation uh, the, the x disappeared in the second equation so uh, times negative 2 there is no x in the second uh, for the y as a 4y minus 2y, so that is 2y negative 3z minus 4z, that's minus 7z, that equals 1 minus 18, that is negative 17. The third equation becomes 3y negative 5 minus 4, that's negative. Uh, ne negative 5 minus 6 because 2 times negative 3 uh, 3y minus 11c equals negative 20, 27 we still call this equation the first one the second the third and then we uh, multiply the second equation by negative uh, by one half then the system becomes x plus y plus 2z equals 9 and uh, y minus 7 over 2z equals negative 17 over 2 and uh, the third one is 3y minus 11z equals negative 27 so here we'll call this the first equation, the second equation, and the third equation. Then the third equation plus the second equation times negative 3. We get rid of the y in this third equation. The first equation did not change. And the second e equation did not change the third equation becomes uh, negative 11z uh, plus 21 over 2z that is negative one half z 
equals negative 3 like this uh, negative 1 3 over 2 the second one the third one now actually we get some equation uh, get some uh, get the, uh, the, uh, the the solution for z the third one times negative 2 then the first equation did not change the second equation this did not change and the third one is z equals 3 we still we can still use Gauss elimination the the second equation plus the third equation times 7 over 2 and the first equation um, plus the third equation times negative 2 uh, we can get rid of v uh, in the first and the second equation the first equation becomes x plus y equals the first uh, e for the first equation plus the third one times negative 2 so that is 3 the second equation becomes y equals the z times uh, z times negative uh, times the 7 over 2 and the 3 times the 7 over 2 that is uh, 21 over 2 21 over 2 minus 17 over 2 that is 4 over 2 that is 2 and z equals 3 we can still use the Gaussian elimination the first equation plus the second equation times negative 1 we can get rid of y in the first equation then we got x equals 1 y equals 2 and z equals 3 now this the system is solved that's the Gaussian elimination actually the Gaussian, the Gaussian elimination does not change uh, does not do anything for x and y and z just to change the change the coefficient and the uh, uh, constant term uh, or in homogeneous part of the system so actually so we can uh, take out the coefficient and uh, uh, in homogeneous part that's that is one one two line that's two four negative three one that's 3, 6, negative 5, 0. We call this is a table of numbers. We call this table of numbers a matrix. Actually, this matrix is called the argument matrix. Argument matrix of the linear system. Then, actually, we uh, any cost and uh, any operation for the equation actually is the equation of the uh, matrix the first uh, then the like like the, the second row plus the first row times negative 2 and the third one plus the first row times negative 3 that's actually we we just did the did the operation on the coefficient so one one two nine zero two negative seven negative uh, seventeen zero three uh, negative eleven negative twenty seven we know that the uh, the solution and uh, it corresponds to a matrix actually 
the matrix is the coefficient of the linear system. Then we uh, multiply the second row by, uh, by one half. It's actually the same, uh, the same operation uh, for the linear system. Then the third, uh, we separated the uh, inhomogeneous part with the coefficient by the uh, dashed, uh, dashed dots. This, the, then the third equation plus the second equation times negative three. Now we got actually the same operation for the uh, for the linear system. One, two, line. 0, 1, negative 7 over 2, negative 17 over 2, and then that's 0, 0, that's negative 1 half, negative 3 over 2, and 3. Mm. Okay, so the third, the third row times negative two. Then we got one, one, two, line separate. Zero, one, negative seven over two, negative seventeen over two. Zero, zero, one, three. Then this the second row plus the third row times seven over two. The first row plus this third row times negative two. Then we got the one, one, zero. That's three, zero, one, zero. That's uh, uh, two, zero, zero, one, three. And uh, then the first row plus the second row times negative one. Then that's one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, two, zero, zero, one, three. Then this equation, this argument matrix is equivalent uh, corresponds to the linear system x1 equals 1, x2 equals 2, and x3 equals 3. So the Gauss elimination is correspond to the operation for the matrix. We call this uh, operation, we call the uh, row operation. row reduction. Row operation and row reduction is corresponds to the linear system as a Gauss elimination. What is a row operation? There's three types of row, of row operation. The first one is interchange two rows. Uh, for this example, we I actually we didn't do interchange of two rows. The second is multiply non-zero. Multiply uh, one row. Zero numbers, uh, non zero number by oh, non zero number, and the third type of row operation as that is at one row.
by multiple of another row. That's the row operation for a matrix. And still, what is matrix? Actually, a matrix is a table. A table of m row m rows n columns numbers. Actually, a matrix is a table of numbers. We always write a if we want to uh, point out how many rows and how, how many columns of this matrix we write uh, the index m times n. The m says indicate that the m, m row and columns. m rows and columns. That is matrix. And for linear system, there's a special matrix we call coefficient. matrix and uh, argument matrix what is coefficient matrix and argument matrix if the linear uh, linear system is a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a1 n x n that is b1 a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus a2 n x n that is b2 and a m1 x1 plus a m2 x2 plus a m n x n equals b n then it's coefficient matrix we always write as a that is a11 a12 a1n a21 a22 a2n that is a m1, a m2, and a m n. Th this is the coefficient matrix, and is and is argument matrix. We always write as a b. That is A11, A12, A1N, that's B1, A21, A22, A2N, that's B2, and AM1, AM2, that's AMN, that's BN. We separate the inhomogeneous part. We call the this is a, a vector B, that is B1 to Bn, and uh, the vector X, that is X1 to Xn. Then the linear system is equivalent. Well, some, sometimes we uh, write in, uh, in abbreviation for the linear system, write as AX equals B. This is the linear, uh, uh, the coefficient matrix and the argument matrix of the linear system. And we solve linear system by row operation. And uh, there's a, another two concept we call the, the uh, called the row edge form. 
and there is a reduce the row echelon form. The, redu the row echelon form, what is the row, uh, row echelon form? The row echelon form is like this. Here is the row echelon form. For each for each line zero rows, for each line zero row, the first the first line zero uh, line zero member, uh, the first line zero member, uh, any any numbers below the long, uh, first line zero number is zero, and. Uh, uh, there's actually there's two uh, uh, two there's a two condition uh, two conditions the first uh, that is uh, any number below the first uh, non zero number of long zero row are zeros. The second is uh, the first uh, non zero numbers of uh, long zero row. the right of the first non zero number of a power is at the right of a bubble. The first non zero member of a bubble. And so that's a member. It's not a number. That's the row actual form. And there's a reduce the row actual form. The reduced row actual form. That is, first is row actual form. The second, that is the, the leading number or the leading member. Member that is the first, uh, the first uh, line zero, uh, line zero member. Leading leading member is one, and this the third condition that is uh, all members. Below and be above leading member. R zero. Number uh, and that is this. This is here is reduced. Row actual form. This is a reduced row actual form because all the leading member, the leading member, 
all the leading members are zero or uh, uh, one and uh, all other uh, numbers below and above below and above the leading member are zeros uh, this is row h local That's the re, uh, row actual form and reduce the row actual form. And if, uh, if we have those concepts, then uh, we have another. Con oh, there's a, two other concepts. Uh, we call it pivotal number. And uh, leading, actually leading. Uh, needy member actually that's the same thing the needy member and the pipe to number that is the, sa the same thing that the first line zero uh, for first line zero member that's the first uh, non zero Member in reduce in row actual form. That's the pivot number. And then uh, we have this concept. Then we uh, can uh, know that the how to solve solve a linear system. So in the system, we have the steps that is uh, for augment matrix use row operation. Use row operation to reduce the augment matrix to be reduced row actual form. Or actually, uh, we can solve the linear system uh, system to uh, use the row actual form, not not just reduce the row actual form, but reduce the row actual form as correspond uh, corresponds to the simplest uh, form of the linear system. Linear system. So uh, I suggest that. And each time you solve the linear system, uh, solve the linear system, you you'd better to reduce the augment matrix to the reduced row actual form. Let's see another example. If the system is negative x of one plus two x two minus five x three that equals 2 and uh, negative 2x1 minus 3x2 plus 4x3 that equals 11 and 4x1 minus 7x2 plus 17x3 that equals negative 7. So in this linear system The solution is first we write down the argument matrix. The argument matrix that is negative one, two, negative five, two, negative two, negative three, four, eleven, four, negative seven, seventeen, negative seven. Use row operation. You, or row reduction. Uh, we multiply the first, uh, we, or actually, we can write in detail the second, the second equation plus the first equation times negative two, and the third equation plus the first, first equation times four. Then we got 
and this first equation does not change the second equation or second row of the argument matrix. Uh, times negative 2, that's negative 7, negative 2, that is uh, 14, that's 7, times, ne uh, times 4, that's 1, that's negative 3, that's 1. Okay, and the second row has a common factor negative 7. So the second row times uh, negative 1 over 7. Then we got negative 1, 2, negative 5, 2, 0, 1, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, negative 3, 1. And uh, the third equation plus the second equation times negative 1. Then we get the negative 1, 2, negative 5, 2, 0, 1, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. And uh, uh, minus that's 2. And the leading term is not zero, uh, not one. So we better to uh, change it to one. That's negative one. These two, these two are not one. That's negative one. So the third equation times negative one, and the first equation times negative one to let the leading and leading one, the leading number to be one, or leading member to be one. That is one, negative two, five, negative two, zero, one, negative two, negative one, zero, zero, one, negative two. Uh, this is the actual form. Here is the actual form. Uh, this is actual form, but it is not not reduced to the actual form. So uh, we better to change the above and the below members of the leading term or leading members to be zero. So the second row plus the third row times two. And the first row plus the third time times negative five. Then we got one negative two that's zero times five times negative five. Negative two times negative five, that's ten. Ten minus two, that's eight. That's zero one that's zero times two. Two that's negative five. 0, 0, 1, negative 2. And this leading term, the above one is non zero. So the first row, row times up, out of time, plus, plus the second row times 2. So we got. One zero zero times two, so that is negative two zero one zero negative five zero zero one negative two. Now this uh, this uh, matrix corresponds corresponds to the equation uh, linear system that x one equals negative two x2 equals negative 5, x3 equals negative 2, and the linear system is solved. Actually, each time we, uh, each time we reduce the argument matrix to be the reduced row actual form, 
and uh, corresponds uh, corresponds to the linear system is the simplest form. Sometimes it's actually the, the, the solution. That's the linear system. <coughs>